So it's a beautiful uh, misty morning. It was about minus five or six this morning when I woke up. So I just got ready and I'm going to check those beaver traps. And then uh, I kind of didn't plan it out good today. Uh, I'm going to end up coming back and then heading back the same way, I think. But um, whatever, whatever, it'll give me a chance to have a good lunch. But because um, these beavers got to dry out anyways. So and I can skin them at night. So I'm going to go back and set some uh, more beaver traps later where I know there's a nice peeled birch tree that I'm going to make a flushing beam out of, which is all the way at the big lake. So A fish just jumped out at Tiger's face. <laughs> it was pretty funny. So this is kind of the trail I'm walking down, you know, pretty good trail. You could drive your truck down if you wanted to. Um, I brought four shots for the shotgun. I wish I had brought more. I got two buck shot, but uh, I got two grouse. I uh, couple couple uh, that's the way I came from. Couple uh, flushed up back there, and I tried shooting them on the wing, and I missed. Uh, happened twice, and then I got these two guys. So that's four shots. So I'm out. Uh, Tiger, he uh, he got pretty excited. He actually retrieved them for me. Believe it or not, and then he ate one of the heads. When I ripped it off to kill it, but uh, yeah, there we go. We got dinner, and I got fish still from yesterday. So, like I said, I'm out of shots, and I'm coming back this way with a hopefully a heavy load of beaver. So I'm just gonna leave my shotgun here. I don't think anybody's gonna be down here. All right, Tiger, we'll go get some beaver now. Okay, this is an exciting day for you. Well, I'm kind of surprised. Uh, I got no beavers in the first two traps. Well, there's two more. Nope. Oh. There's uh, another empty trap. Well, this trap's gone. Oh yeah, there's a beaver in there. Can you see ya? Let's see here. So one beaver. Not a, not a super big one. So, well, it's uh, on the bright side. It's an easy carry back. I don't know. I'm pretty sure there's more than one beaver here. Somebody might have shot one, but it's okay. You stay, good boy. So we'll take him out of here then and uh, head on back. Okay. So one beaver. That's an easy uh, backpack carry. Well, it's almost 12, so I figure uh, it's not really worth my time. So not a good use of my time uh, or resources to go and uh, um, all the way back that same trip again. Especially when I got shit to do here. You know, I should, uh, I'll clean that beaver, get it all, get it drying. I still got to make a flushing uh, tool and my Martin board, so... So, I'm just, uh, get the fire going here so I can, uh, yeah, it was almost going, so I just, it, was, it, it kind of just went out, it was still embers. So a little piece of birch bark will help it along. So, um, yeah, so I'm just going to... Get my uh, big rubber gloves, go down, wash that beaver, and then, uh, all right, get my rubber gloves here. So, uh, so yeah, I got a, you know those flushing beams, they're like a hand, the, or the, fill in this freaking hole that Tiger dug. 
Um, those flushing tools, you know, with the handle, it's like a double-sided flushing tool uh, with the flushing part on the end. So I'm going to make that because I, uh, well, I thought I had one, but I can't find it. So thing. I don't know. I haven't really decided exactly how I'm going to do it yet, but I, I got a pretty good idea. I think I got a carriage bolt that I can use to make the handle. So I don't know. It should be interesting. But uh, like I said, I'm just getting my rubber gloves right now. The water's not that cold, but why not? Because, uh, you know, the beaver's fur always has mud in it, so. Oh, right here. Gloves. The only ones that don't have holes in them yet. I got two of the long pairs that go around my neck. I think I might be able to, uh, I can't remember. Hopefully it's the opposite hands that have, a. Uh, have holes in them so I can put those together. Probably not though. The fur being clean is super important. So and then you want to just give it a quick brush just to kind of let some air into the fur and hang it from uh, the front feet so uh, the water can drain out of the fur. If you hang it from the back foot, then uh, uh, obviously the water will drain down towards the hide. But uh, when you check your beaver traps every day, they dry pretty quick because they uh, will look at how fast a beaver can dry its own fur pretty fast because of their oil that they put on their uh, fur. So I put a I put a bin under here to catch the water so I'm not making a mess in here. And uh, I don't think I need to start a fire right now. I'll just leave the door open. My chimney's smoking, so. Oh, hey! The dog's stealing my gross. What are you doing with that? Hey? Look at that. Yeah, my chimney's smoking good. The nerve. Look at it. Stealing my friggin' chicken. That's mine. Yeah. So, I'll clean those and then I'll have coffee. Hey, you get down. No, I don't like you right now. Stealing my chickens. Go. Make sure it's uh, not going too good pretty warm out now so I'll have coffee soon after I clean these chickens it's uh oh yeah look 25 degrees now well it's right in the sun but it was uh I think minus six this morning okay I'll, I'll clean these chickens have some lunch all right so my next project here is to make a flushing tool for uh, muskrats and uh, mink and martin um, so I just was going through, uh, my stuff here. So all this shit here, I dumped it out of this, you know, it's just kind of some shit I've collected from over the years and out of it, I pulled, this. 
So it's a carriage bolt, okay? And then I found uh, four nuts that fit it and some washers. This drill bit, I believe, is the same size. Maybe a little bit smaller. I, I want it to be real tight. And then this one is just to start it, okay? So this here is the piece of, uh, of the barrel that I cut out. I was thinking of doing it with this part, but I think it's too tight and plus it's curved this way as well. I'm actually gonna make it this way, okay? So first thing I need to do is drill a hole. And uh, anyways, I'm pretty sure with what I have here, I can do it, okay? Obviously safety glasses and uh, hearing protection. And uh, other than that, I'm not, I'm not gonna show you guys every step of the way, you guys can pretty much figure it out, but for the handle, this is a beaver stick that I picked up. Now the thing about a beaver stick is it's dried. Anywhere it's cracked, it's already cracked, so I won't use that, I'll cut, you know, right here it's cracked. So I'll cut here, here to make my handle, and then I'll drill through it, and that'll go at the bottom here, and then, uh, so we'll see how that comes together. Okay, so I'll show you what I've done so far. I kind of just um, marked it out. I don't know what the measurement is, just roughly. And then I drew an X across it to get the center. And then I started with a small drill bit and then the bigger one. I had to ream it out just a little bit. So this thing is real tight. It will go through, but barely. Because I don't want this thing moving around on me, okay? So uh, ne next I'll cut this out, put it all together, make the handle, and then I will uh, grind it and sharpen it and shape it. Okay. Okay, I just set this thing up so I could drill straight down it. Uh, before I cut the length of the handle. I use a little bit bigger of a drill bit so that I can so that it's not going to split the wood when I stick this through Okay So now the next thing I want to do is just uh, for aesthetics I'm going to uh, Go like that and uh, Trace this just so I can uh, carve it, taper it, okay? And then I'll cut it to length, and then the other side I will uh, taper after the other. So that's going to be the top, and, uh, and then the bottom will be against this part. Okay. Okay, so the next thing I did was like sharpen my pencil so I could get a good, uh, I could trace that square part of the the carriage bolt here and then I kind of gouged it out with my knife or whatever it's not too pretty but it'll be hidden and I also sanded this part not not this part I, I want this to be a little bit rough I, I carved off the gray part because I'm going to varnish it after because uh, otherwise it'll just get soaked with blood and fat and everything right so I got to varnish it so I uh, I uh, did that and uh, it it uh Fits good, so that will be my handle. I'm pretty happy with it. I can carve it a little bit more. if it feels a little too fat, which it might, but I'll see. I'll carve it a little bit. I'll test. I'll play around with it a little bit before I um before I varnish it. So then the next thing is my washer there, and then a nut. So then there's that. So I, it was pretty important to, to go, do that square part because, um, and I sanded it to, you know, try to make it flat so that everything sat right. Um, you don't want to crack this handle. It'd be pretty easy to do if you tried to force anything. And even this, I'm almost thinking I should put two nuts here so I don't have to crank this one super tight because other, I don't want to crack the handle. Like I said, I, I'm thinking I should just do it kind of hand tight and then put another one against it. That's why I have four nuts. And then, uh, so we'll get this one on. And then, uh, okay, so I got two there. And then I'm gonna get, put this on. And then this. Uh, I forgot the washer. I don't know for sure if I'll need a washer. But it won't hurt. And then another washer. 
for here, and another nut. So there you go. That's my uh, flushing tool. Pretty happy with it so far. So I will crank these nuts down, and then I will, um, so I can hold it like this, I'll grind it, you know, to uh, make my edges, and, uh, you know, shape it up a little bit, round off the corners so I don't tear the hide. Okay, so grind it all, and uh, shave the corners, you know, and... Uh, Kind of bent it a little bit with the channel locks. I'm pretty happy with it. And then I just kind of, you know, like it's 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 not sharp anywhere. So we'll see how it is. The metal is uh, fairly soft. If it's no good, I just uh, work with it a little bit. I'm pretty happy with the grip already. I cranked these nuts down. So uh, there you go. I mean. Obviously, once upon a time, I either did or somebody else paid for that carriage bolt, but uh, this cost me nothing. These are probably like at least $10 to buy. So, you know, if I wanted to get fancy, I could uh, sand that all down or grind it down or something, but I don't really care. So, yeah, super happy with it. We'll see how it works when I uh, catch a muskrat.